you guys know I love shit out of I used to not be able to say it. I used to have to be like a shite audio. But now we can say it shit. And we're with Salt Sound, which shit audio, Salt Sound, lots of alliteration. And we're going to meet Jim Salk. And he's the designer of the Song 3A speaker. And he's going to tell us about that. And then I'll listen with the plastic pants. Come. Hey, Jim. How are you doing? Uh, we were just talking to a guy from Clayton, Wisconsin outside <laughs> right this minute. And now I'm going to talk to a man from Minnesota, and my family is from Wisconsin. And this is Jim Salk, the designer of Salk Speakers, and in this particular case, the Song 3A. And I'd be really grateful if you'd tell us about these three drivers. And Absolutely. And we have a raw ribbon tweeter from Serbia, an Accuton mid-range from Germany, and an, a Satori 7.5-inch woofer. There. And you're, play, you're playing with shit, but you have your your uh, own player. All Did of you our tell music us about is that? all of our music is stored on this player. Um, it has two terabytes of storage. Also has Rune installed and a an, uh, subscription to Title, so we have basically access to 30 million songs there. Uh, the output of that is fed into the uh, Gunyer Multi-Bit uh, DAC, then into the Freya preamp. And we have a pair of Vidar amplifiers we're using as mono blocks to drive the speakers. These new Vidar amplifiers are six ninety nine or five five ninety nine for a pair of mono blocks. So what we're going to do? I'm really curious about this system. We're going to let's make a binaural recording with the little microphones. I'm going to sit in the center, and you're going to get to hear some songs by MA Recordings and Chesky Records. Let's listen and see what it sounds like. Into 
give me a second and I'll tell you what I think. Okay, this is always hard. You go to a show, expectations are premeditated resentments. I went in there, I'm a major, major shit fan. And, it's, uh, and I love their equipment, I know it well, I especially like their decks. And I'm kind of a fan of soft speakers. I thought the sound kind of came out and bit me a few times, and I know those recordings. I actually, at the Chesky recordings, I sat there where the original binaural head was. I was sitting right behind the dummy head while the recording went on. I've played them hundreds of times in my own home, heard them on headphones. I thought the sound was not up to its normal snuff today, but it's a show, and it's the first day of the show. Probably on Sunday, it'll sound like a million dollars. Okay, now we're at uh, these three people's show together, Triode Wire Labs, Border Patrol, and Volti Audio. They're like a triumvirate, a trio of like triodes. No, of companies that, their gear is synergistic, they have a sound. Uh, I've just reviewed the Border Patrol DAC, which we'll hear. Uh, I use triode wires in my own system. And it shows Volti Audio is the company that makes really good, like, horn speakers. And horn speakers, how many good horn speakers are there? Not as many as there could be. But so let's go in. We're going to see Greg from Volti, and he's the guy who designed these speakers. And uh, let's see what we can hear. Oh my lord, look at this shirt. This is Greg from Volte. <laughs> look at this, I don't believe it. No one has ever had a shirt like that, man, at an audio show with their company on it. Uh, now, I was just explaining that you right. and Pete. I gotta, I gotta turn this up and down. Okay. Also, there's the volume control. I was explaining outside that this is a triumvirate. You guys showed together and Clearly, I've been to a lot of shows, and I can testify right here and now that it, it works. It's synergistic in we its own way. We have system synergy here, for sure. I think sure, it yeah. physically works. It's beautiful together. But every time I come here, I have a different speaker or a different front end. Different on. finish. I like to show different right. things at shows. Yeah. Can you tell us quickly about that speaker, please? It's sure. beautiful. It's the Volti Audio Rival. It's, uh, it was introduced a year and a half ago in response to so many people saying that... Uh, I love your Vitora speakers, Greg, but they're too big or they're too expensive. So, uh, so I introduced the Rival. has all of the same internal components as the the larger Vitora speakers. Touch. The same, uh, uh, you know, Volti Audio sound, and uh, in a much more compact and cost-effective uh, uh, cabinet. It's seductive. It's looking. still, you know, one-inch Baltic birch construction. You know, it's the same way I like to build speakers. One-inch Baltic. Speakers. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, is that five quarter or just one it's inch? It's one inch. Yeah. Herb, I'm telling you, it's one inch, and it's one inch all the way around, too. Wow. Now, this year I've got a different finish. I've always had trouble with paint finishes in the past, but right. I feel how hard that is. It's like a plastic yeah. paint. It's really impressive. And Look I can get that. Look at and I can get this in any color, Herb. Uh, and uh, yes, and black is the only color. No, I can get it. Any no, color I know. Want. It's easy. And, and we veneered the front of these. Uh, these speakers sell for eighty-four hundred dollars, as shown with internal crossovers. But you notice the external crossovers. Yeah. Yeah, that's an and option. We're listening today with the we are external. Yes, and th that's an option now for the rivals. These are a beautiful object all by themselves. I often wonder why more people don't do that. Well, and now that I've really had a chance to hear the difference, I wonder why they don't either, because it's it's really amazing it's what it does. Bring it the by wire, the, the, bring sound, the, the sound becomes less congested and clearer, and it's it surprised me, I have to say. I, I did not expect that much of a difference with it. The first time so, I heard something like that. Yeah, yeah. Can you tell us about the Border sure, Patrol stuff a little bit? You know, I love Border Patrol uh, products anyway, but especially as the amplifiers. But, uh, Gary Dew's Border Patrol Audio has found a way to make the 300B tube extend deep into the base and be firm and tight in the base. That's not normally something that 300B tubes are known for. And they also extend nicely into the highs, much more so than you typically Is this push-pull? It's a single-ended, dual single Really? Yeah. Parallel single-ended? Yeah. And you and notice down here what people mistake all the time for uh, monoblock solid-state amplifiers. We always have to correct them. These are the outboard power supplies. Her for that amp? Say, for that amp. One for each channel. So now you know, now that I've shown you that, 80 pounds a piece, right? Now you understand why uh, he has make, made an amp with 300B tubes that can actually 
deliver stiff, deep bass. And look at the size of the power output transformers. And here's the little DAC that I'm reviewing. Yeah, love the and sound of that. And it has a tube, and there's a button where you can turn the, the tube on and off. It's, there's parallel rectifiers, which is kind of interesting. And it sounds very different when you turn the tube on and you turn the tube off. It does, yeah. And you'll have to wait to the review to find out more about that. But it's a beautiful object. It's, it's a very you can natural, carry it under your arm too. It's a it's a very natural sounding digital. That's it, it's not analog necessary. It's just a great digital sound, natural organic musical. Well, it uses, sound. It's a sixteen bit chip. It's a vintage chip. It is a vintage chip. And uh, sixteen bit ah, non oversampling. <laughs> no no oversampling. Yeah. No filtering. Yeah. It's this is as close as you get to the you know the bit stream that entered the front door. Yeah. Anyhow. We're going to sit and listen. No, hey, I have to mention though, Triode Wireless. Triode Wires. You Pete. know, Triode Pete. I love Triode Wireless cables. This is my buddy Triode hey, Pete. Er, great Can to you see say, it. give us a few seconds on the subject of cables? Yes. I designed them all to be very natural, organic, analog sounding cables. That's about the third time I've heard organic since we walked in the door. Yeah, well, it's what? synergy. <laughs> no, between it Border is, Patrol, Volte, and Triode Wireless. How do you do that though? How do you make it organic? Use organic materials. Uh, very good materials. The dielectric is very important, right. and this has to be high quality. It's all made in USA, and uh, you make them yourself. Yes, handmade well, on you. Long Island. Thank you. Not on Long Island. Yeah. Anyhow, thank you again. Yeah, thank now you we're going to listen. Sure. And we'll find, let the listeners find out what they think of this stuff. Thanks, sir. Oh, my thank pleasure. You. My one more shot of this. Hey, shirt. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> thank you.
Now we're going to go in the GTT room and uh, we're going to meet Bill Parrish, the proprietor, and we're going to listen to YG Acoustics loudspeakers powered by AudioNet from Germany Amplification. And I'm predicting good stuff. Come. Hello, Herb. How are you? Good to be here. Good. Welcome. It's great to see you here at Exponent. <laughs> And the biggest exponent, yeah, it seems like. Oh, this new Maybe. venue is really phenomenal. It's almost the uh, Alexis Park, right? <laughs> Anyhow, <laughs> I think it's a few steps up. It's a few yeah. steps up, no question. Uh, this is uh, Bill Parrish from GTT, and I'm going to ask him, I already know in advance, I mean, if this isn't best sound at show, you know, you guys can write me nasty letters, but we haven't even heard it yet, so maybe he screwed up. But Bill... I know you import uh, audio net from Germany, and yes. I know they're going to be powering the YG acoustic speakers. Could you tell us about audio net? I think sure. they're less well known than YG. <laughs> I, I, they've been around for 24 years out of Germany. Uh, they were originally the uh, born from the electronics division of Ruhr University in Bochum. They're, mm. now, they're now based in Berlin, but mm. originally they were in Bochum, New uh, Bochum. Germany. This is the Stern. The, this is the first time that we're using the Stern at a consumer show. You need to scale of this thing. This is a line stage <laughs> and it is packed full of components. I mean bandwidth is DC out to 3 meg. Oh my god. Uh, oh yeah. This is, this is a statement product. Is there a separate power supply for this? No, it's, it's all in it, It's so big. I mean, That's one biggest, reason it's so big. It's the yeah. biggest, and it's kind of slightly warm. Biggest preamp I've ever seen. And what else yeah. do we have? It, well, it's really incredible. We have yeah. this spectacular it's, CD player. We have the CD point. player called the Plonk. AudioNet's introduced what we call the scientist line. So Stern is named after a scientist. Plonk uh -huh. is named after a scientist. Oh, when, and then we have the plunk. I'm so slow. I'm glad you explained because I keep seeing scientific yeah. magic as right. their logo. Right, and, and then we have now uh, I get it. We have amplifiers that uh, that you'll see when we go up by the speakers monoblocks that are Heisenbergs. I was so, wondering yeah. where that. Night. Yeah, Duh. that's where it's I'm all slow coming from. No, it's not from the Netflix series. It's, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's actually named after a real scientist. That's a, that's a good plan. But and, and with the CD player. And with a lot of uh, audio net components, you can add external power supplies. And with the Plonk, we have the amp here, external power, power supply. supply. And then we have for a phono stage, the PAM G2, and we use this external power supply, which is called the EPX. And then we have a D to A converter that's also a streamer, and we're using an EPS G2 power supply. And then while I'm down here, I will point to this unit, which is the Kabbalah Sosna Expander, which is a distribution center, power distribution center, and we have our entire front end hooked up to that. And all and of this is hovering under the crown jewel. The, the Kronos. The, we have the Kronos limited edition with the Black Beauty tone arm and the airtight Opus One cartridge. And along with the optional SCPS-1 power supply. Mm -hmm. I'm a big analog guy, most people know that, and we're spinning uh, lots of records in here. This is actually the handsomest Kronos I've ever seen, too. Well, thank it's you. beautiful. 
And then there's the YG speakers. There's the YG speakers and the Heisenbergs. Let me take you up here. The Heisenbergs. Now here are the Heisenberg monoamps. 530 watts and 8 ohms, 1100 and some and uh, 4 ohms, and 2100 and the 2 ohms. So and, very, very powerful. And behind, I, I, look at this. Look at these cables. Can you tell us something a little the, about The, the, the cables are all Kabbalah Sosna realization. They were introduced a year ago, and they're the new flagship in the Kabbalah Sosna cable line. Kabbalah no. makes, I believe, nine different SKUs at this point, um, but Realization is the flagship, and that's and we're using okay, that cool. exclusively. Show us what they're connected to. They're connected to the YG Acoustics XV Juniors, which this is a U.S. premiere of these speakers. They've never been shown right before. Now? Yes. Here, oh, that at, at, my, at my showroom, we have the XV, which is about that tall, and what that is is it has a woofer section underneath each one of these. Mm, so if right. we cut the woofer section off of these four columns, we have these speakers. And to show you what the, uh, it is a four-way speaker, just like the big XV, but the XV Junior has the new billet dome tweeter, and then it has two mid-ranges, three mid-base units, and I love Two woofers. <laughs> well, these speakers are, I, most people know the story on YG, and they are milled out of solid billets of aluminum. The cones. The, the cones themselves. And there's ridges on the back, and it's... I hope they're, they they're, recycle they're, they're all the parts that they well, took away while they're making I, I the cones. Think, I think the aluminum recyclers over, at, uh, over in Denver really love YG. I, I have a feeling. So maybe now we can listen? I'd love that. Let's do it. Thank you. predicted best sound and show there's 165 rooms there might be 163 that are better than this but I doubt it I doubt it in fact I actually think even if I only heard five more rooms I'm not likely to hear better it was perfect there was a sound stage it went two rooms down you could hear the back of the sound stage I wondered if the people in the rooms two doors down could hear the sound stage from this, but the music was quiet. I hope it comes through. And I'm mentioning the sound stage because I'm curious if, with the binaural headphones, if you're going to be able to hear the sound stage I did. Check it out. Listen carefully. See what kind of space you get. And tell me if you agree that sound was amazing.